Here's a question for you. How much money do you need to retire? It's a big question and a very popular question and really something at my age sometimes keeps me up at night and so it should. If you're over 40 and haven't started planning your retirement, you're too late. But before you start panicking, we have help at hand in this edition of How to Invest by Julius Baer. You all know the saying, the early bird catches the worm. This absolutely rings true for retirement planning. You've got to start early so that by the time you're 40, you're well on your way to meeting your retirement goals. These basically define how you want to live during your retirement years. And for most of us, that means maintaining the lifestyle to which we've become accustomed. In reality, an effective retirement plan identifies when you want to retire, it states the costs you'll have and lays out how to finance them. You want to look beyond possible government and employer contributions and really think more about income streams that you can implement to boost your paydays. Things like capital income from investment dividends or rental income from real estate. The key is to have multiple and diverse sources of income. And it sounds quite simple when I say it out loud, but it's much harder to put into practice when all around you, lives is getting in the way. When you're in your 20s and 30s, life is about building, building your career or business, building a family and building a home. So it's understandable that saving for retirement isn't really at the forefront of your mind. In fact, sometimes it can feel like nothing but spend, spend, spend rather than save, save, save. But this is where it all starts, building a life you want and one you can maintain. By the time you're in your 40s, you should be well on your way to putting that well-earned cash to work. Remember the episode we just did on compound interest? Check it out if you haven't seen it yet because that is exactly why you have to start as early as possible. The earlier you start to save, even if it's just small amounts, the longer you have to grow your capital. Don't underestimate the power of compounding. Now, if you're 50 and watching this, then you might have some serious firefighting to do. You must immediately take action, define your goals, identify the gaps in your financial needs and address them. Take advantage of everything at your disposal, including things like voluntary pension purchases, often offered by your employer. And if this is a wake up call, don't stick your head in the sand. Once you retire, how much can you spend every year without running out of money? The 4% rule is a popular rule of thumb. You add up all of your investments and savings at retirement and then withdraw 4% of that total during your first year of retirement. Then in subsequent years, you adjust the amount you withdraw to account for inflation. By following this formula, you have a very high probability of not outliving your money during a 30 year retirement. For example, let's say your portfolio at retirement totals 1 million US dollars. You would then withdraw 40,000 US dollars in the first year of retirement. Then, if the cost of living rises 2% that year, then you'd give yourself a 2% raise the following year, withdrawing 40,800 US dollars, and so on for the next 30 years. A well-structured retirement plan will allow you to not only enjoy yourself later in life, but it can even help you sleep better now. For more insights in how to invest, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and we'll see you next time. <music>